Is PT easier than IELTS? And which one you should do if you are trying to get your scores in the quickest way possible? Hello everyone, this is Vishale from Visual Language Experts. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about whether you should be doing PTE and what are the major differences between PTE and IELTS. So firstly, let's talk about the structure of PTE and how it is different than IELTS. Guys, when it comes to PTE exam, you don't have to worry about sitting in front of the invigilator or examiner and giving you examinations. A lot of students hesitate when they speak in front of a human. In PTE, you just have to speak in front of the computer so hesitations can be removed can be lesser now if i talk about the difference the first major difference is in pte your components are getting checked by algorithm by software so that means you can play up with the algorithm a little bit there are structures as well pamphlets as well which can boost up your marks so you don't have to you know go by the book when it comes to pte because there are a lot of loopholes as well so when it comes to pte you can use these loopholes and can get higher marks so let's talk about the templates first but before we talk about the templates if you're new to channel make sure that you do subscribe and click on the bell notification icon because we keep on posting new tutorials every single week it's going to really help you in clearing your pte exam so when we talk about the templates guys it's really important that in ielts your templates does not work especially for the higher bands but in PTE, you can use fixed structures. You need to play up a little bit with the algorithm, with the marking criteria, marking parameters when it comes to PTE and your template can work. We over here provide students with fixed templates, universal templates for every single question, especially for writing. And that's why students get really good marks. Now, if I talk about the structure as well, the structure is really simple. You have four modules speaking writing reading listening you have to make sure that you understand this very crucial thing that every single module is interrelated yes if you give the exam for speaking you will be getting marks for reading as well for listening as well if you are attempting your writing module you will be getting marks for reading if you are attempting your reading module you will be getting marks for your writing module and lastly if you are attending listening you will be getting marks for reading and writing. So that means you need to perform equally good in every single module so that overall marks and every single each module marks can be of your desired requirement. So this is very important that you understand this crucial difference because in IELTS, it is not the case. Every single module only give marks to that particular module. Now, this is very important that you understand this. But on top of that, the next thing I want to talk about is the structure. Every single module is structured very well. The questions are structured very well. They check your competency level in English. They check your coherence level. They check your linguistic skills. They check your fluency and pronunciation as well. So let's talk about module wise module. And this is going to be really easy for students to understand as well who are attempting PT very first time or who are actually thinking to attempt it, right? So let's talk about the very first module and its structure, which is speaking. So when we talk about the speaking module, guys, we have five tasks. We have read aloud, repeat sentences, describe image, retell lecture, answer short question. These five tasks are very crucial because they give marks towards speaking, towards reading, towards listening. Now, when it comes to the speaking module, the very first task you will be getting is read aloud, where you have to read the text. And the second task you will be getting would be repeat sentences, where you will be listening the sentence and then you have to repeat it. And then third task, which is describe image you will be getting bar graphs pie charts images on the screen you have to talk about it the fourth task read the lecture or in pte code if you talk about the fourth task it is respond to a situation they will be giving you a lecture audio where you have to listen and then talk about now it's not very difficult so you have to listen to it there are templates for it and then you just give your answers accordingly and the last question is answer short questions over there is just ask you a question and you have to answer it in few words the speaking is very straightforward Forward. all these tasks helps you in your reading marks as well and in your listening marks as well now let's talk about the writing module the writing module structure is very very easy there are only two tasks just like IELTS but over here we can use template so the very first task is your summarized written text in PTE academic and in your PTE core it's about the 
email and summarized written text as well. So the summarized written text is common in PT core and PT academic as your first task. Over here, you just have to summarize what they have mentioned in the paragraphs, right? And you have to give the summary of it and you will get the marks. The second task in PT academic is your essay. In PT core, it's your email. Over here also, guys, templates will work. In your IELTS, templates do not work. Even for higher bands, even for eight each or above, students use templates and get the desired bands. There are a lot of students who get even 19 writing as well okay using the templates obviously you have to put down your ideas but not everything you need to write on your own we will give you the templates will give you the structures and then you can use them and then try to modify it a little bit in terms of ideas as per the question statement and you'll get the marks for written summary you also get marks guys towards your reading but for essay all the marks goes towards your writing module now the difference over here is that if you're giving paper based exam in IELTS you have to write it down okay but over here you have to type so a lot of students nowadays feel that they are good in typing rather than writing so that's why they prefer PTE but in IELTS also you can attempt computerized exam where you have option to type so this difference is not there anymore before I move on to the next topic, I want to congratulate three winners. Yes, we are giving free mock tests to the three lucky users. You guys have been messaging us, contacting us, even you have commented us. So we are going to give you free mock test for PTE. Dr. Ahmed, you have also subscribed and followed us on TikTok as well. So you're getting a free mock test. Just send us a DM on Instagram. Meghna, you are also getting a free mock test. Meghna, please send us an email or send us a direct message on Instagram. And the last lucky user is Naveen. Naveen Sarvana, you are also getting a free mock test. So just send us a message on Instagram. We'll send out free mock test. Okay, guys, now let's talk about reading structure. In IELTS, you get comprehensions, big, big passages. You have to read, you have to understand, and then they will ask you questions on basis of those comprehensions. There are three comprehensions in IELTS, but in PTE, you just get small passages, not very lengthy passages, right? Sometimes you get even, you know, I would say two to three sentence, long sentence passages, as well, right? So over here, your skills are tested more on the basis of collocations how the sentences are structured rather than vocab. In IELTS, you need to have good vocabulary. But in PTE, even if you have average vocab, you can still get good marks in reading. There are multiple choice questions as well, right? But they are not very scoring. Only three tasks are very important in reading module, which is reading and writing fill in the blanks, then reorder paragraphs and reading fill in the blanks. Multiple choice questions, single answers are also there and multiple answers are also there, but they are not very scoring. So even if you just focus on these three tasks from your reading module, you're going to get your desired bands. So it's very important that this difference, you keep it in mind while selecting whether PTE exam is good for you or IELTS exam is good for you. Now let's talk about listening module. Listening is the lengthiest module in PTE. Students feel that in IELTS, they are very good with their listening. Listening is a little bit easier. But in PTE, as it is the lengthiest module and it comes at the very last, some students faced a lot of challenges in this particular module. But out of eight tasks, only four are important and four are not important. But what are the types of tasks? Some tasks would be just multiple choice questions. Some tasks would be that they will be playing an audio. You will be listening to it and you have to fill in the blank. Some tasks would be very, very important, like right from dictations, where again, they will be repeating the sentence, playing the sentence for you. You just have to listen to it and write exactly as it is. And some tasks could be like summaries. You have to listen to a lecture and write a summary on it. So there are multiple types of tasks. So what you have to do is you have to focus on only four tasks, which is summarize spoken text, then listening, fill in the blanks, then highlighting correct words, and write from dictations. Now, in listening module as well, guys, you can use templates, especially for summarized spoken text. And there are a lot of strategies which you can play up with to get higher marks. So overall, it becomes really easy to get good marks in PTE as compared to IELTS. Now, I also want to talk about the negative marking. 
when it comes to the negative marking there are a lot of tasks especially when it comes to listening and reading module now for reading module multiple choice question multiple answers if you select one option correct and one correct you will end up getting zero but guys let's say if you selected all of them incorrect the minimum marks you will get is zero only okay so there will not be a marks which is in negative okay you will get zero as the minimum mark but what's the solution we always advise students that whenever you are in doubt only select one option the one which you're 100% confident about similarly in listening module as well we have negative based tasks such as multiple choice question multiple answers but also highlight incorrect words which is an important task in this task if you select any of the words incorrectly you will get minus one so you have to be very careful only select the ones which are very sure of now negative marking can cause a lot of issues because you will unnecessarily get less marks and there are a lot of students who still are unaware about negative marking in pt now i hope this video was helpful share it with your friends who are starting their journey in PT, who have not started and getting confused whether to select PTE or whether to select IELTS. Now guys, this is very important that you go through our tutorials such as reading, listening, because they're going to help you in cracking your scores and helping you getting your desired band. So if you've not watched them, you can watch them now. And yes, if you're facing difficulties in any of the tasks, any of the modules, you can comment and I will personally reply to your comments and I'll try to give you a solution to your issue, to your problem. Thank you guys. That's it for today. Vishal is signing off from VLE Vision Language Experts. We will see you in our next tutorial. Thanks.